Good morning, everyone. I'm going to talk a bit about the trends in medical education. I do represent an offshore school. I'm not really going to talk about Aureus University School of Medicine. We can do that at my table. More importantly is many people are confused about what the opportunities are for students to study in an offshore school. So my comments are going to really address what do you look for and, and how are those programs equivalent to U.S. programs? Because so many students try to get into the U.S. schools, but it's a very few who can because of the limited number of schools that offer MD programs. The schools in the Caribbean, the schools in Europe, the schools around the world have uh, recognition by two primary agencies for the United States and for Canada. And it's one of the key components that any student should look for when they're going offshore. ECFMG, which is the Educational Commission for Foreign Graduates for the United States, and MCC for the Medical Council of Canada. Those two agencies, the schools have to be recognized by. The reason why is it's important for them to be able to take the medical exams. The medical exams are the step one and step two exams, which most of you have heard of if you've investigated any medical education. But you cannot sit for those exams unless the school has been recognized. What does that mean? Very simply, the curriculum is equivalent to the United States. So the students go into the offshore programs they are taught the, exactly the same information that the students in the United States are taught. They then sit for exactly the same exam, which would be the step one exam, and they sit for the step two exam. When the students have finished this, they are then able to be able to get their MD degree, and that MD degree is recognized in the United States and Canada. So it's very, very important that that component be uh, evaluated in evaluating an offshore school. Why would a student want to go to an offshore school? It, part of it would also be financial. The ability of the schools offshore to be able to provide a lower tuition exists because it's not very expensive to open a school as an example in the Caribbean. At Aureus University as an example, our tuition is $20,000 a year. So a student who is seeking an MD degree, at the end of five years, they would have a $100,000 tuition debt plus a living expense. There's one other piece, because we have a five-year program. So that means your students, they can go from high school to an offshore program. And I know I was speaking to people as I go through the uh, different college fairs that we're doing, and a lot of people say, but how can you do that? It's very simple. There's no requ real requirement for a college degree to go to medical school. There is, however, a requirement for pre-med. That's the basic math and science at the college level, which bridges from high school to medical school. In the offshore schools like ours, we have a five-year program. That first year of the five years is pre-med. We do that in three semesters or one year. Medical school is four years regardless of where you go. It's comprised of two components. It's comprised of classroom lecture and laboratories, and it's comprised of clinical rotations at teaching hospitals. In our case, and many of our uh, other uh, colleagues in the islands, we use teaching hospitals in the United States. So the students then work with doctors, real patients in teaching hospitals. This all qualifies the student to, upon graduation to go into the residency match program. That's the piece a lot of people don't understand. The school doesn't get the student a residency. The student gets the residency. How do they achieve it? By one simple test. The step one exam is a very critical exam. In coaching and advising students, what our curriculum does and what we try to do is point out to students that you need to do the best you can on that exam. Passing is not good enough. You're going to be shoulder to shoulder with U.S. students. If you can equal or exceed a U.S. student, you'll wind up on the top of the list for a residency. 
the hospitals go through the match program when they're looking for doctors. And they start, of course, with scores, and they look at a lot of other things. But everybody, regardless of whether it's offshore, whether it's in the Caribbean, Ireland, anywhere, they start with the residency match program. So that's basically what's happening. One last piece, which is also very important, because the playing field is changing. In this time where everybody's looking at qualifications, so too is it happening in medicine. All the schools, or many of the schools, are recognized by ECFMG and MCC. But there's now a move for global accreditation. A global accreditation is going to be required by all offshore schools if they wish to teach in the United States. So all of the schools are looking forward to, and are, some have already received their accreditation, some are in process. So by 2023, it's going to be even easier for students to find the schools that will qualify them as a graduate and to become a doctor in the United States or Canada through one of these accreditations. So that's basically the remarks that I have. More information about our program is available at my table. And I look forward to speaking to anybody and answering any questions that anyone has about a medical education onshore in the US or offshore or in Ireland. Thank you very much.